Today, we're gonna to be building out Squid Game's Red Light, Green Light, except instead of just walking forwards, we're gonna be making programmers solve coding interview questions. The way that this is gonna work is a bunch of programmers are going to sign up onto our website and they'll all be placed into the next available Squid Game. Once the games begin, each player is going to be faced with grueling coding interview questions. And by that, I mean easy level leak code questions. Each player is going to write code to answer each individual coding interview question, which will be executed on our server. If the code passes all of the test cases, they will move on to the next coding interview question, which there will be three of. At the end of the game, we'll find out who passed all the three coding interview questions and who won the game. And we'll also find out who got sniped by this giant doll with laser beam eyeballs. First thing that we need to do is figure out a safe way for users to write and submit code to try and answer the questions that we give them. The only problem is it's really, really dangerous to run user code because they could try and delete your database. They could try and hold the system up in an infinite loop or this weird thing that just runs forever, or they could just try and take down the entire website. So we're gonna really have to think about a safe way for users to run their code and check that it's actually correct against a bunch of test cases at the same time. So it's been about two days programming on this project so far uh, in between my day job and hanging out with my friends. Anyway, uh, I've got this code here that it signs you up. So as you can see, it says, hello, Jared Watts, which is very nice. Uh, hopefully that says your name if you sign in. Otherwise, uh, something's wrong. Anyway, it's not important. As you can see, we've got a timer counting down from one minute. So every one minute, a new game will start and all the players that signed up during that minute will be placed into the next game. I don't know why it's every minute, I just kind of did that. But in theory, once this timer hits zero seconds, I should be moved into the next game. So as I was saying, as this timer hits zero, I should be placed into the next game. Yes! As expected, works perfectly fine. And as you can see, I now have a language that I can select. So I have uh, either JavaScript or Python. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the best language that there is. And in this text box that is very, very ugly, uh, I can type any code that is valid JavaScript. So if I type in console.log hello world, and I hit the submit code button, it runs the code on a server somewhere. I'll talk about that later. But as you can see, it prints the result of that code uh, below the submit code button here. So obviously it's not quite what we want just yet, but I can type in any language here and I can pretty much type in whatever I want really. So let's just play around with it a little bit. Okay, so that seems to work. The next thing that we need to do is create actual questions for the players to answer within the game. So instead of just writing uh, random code snippets in the text box, 
we need to show them a question and I'd also like to add a code environment next to the question so that it feels like they're writing code rather than just uh, writing text into a input field. Also want to design the entire game page for the players where we have a leaderboard so you can see how the other players within that game are performing if they're dying or if they're making it through to the next question so you can compare your performance against the other players within that game. So let's go ahead and code that up now. Okay, we're back and it took me <laughs> a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but uh, I say that about every single project, so I really shouldn't even be surprised at this point that it took me this long. But anyway, it's finished now and we're ready to release it to the public. And what I wanna do is I wanna get as many people as I can into the one game where we're all competing against each other and we get that real Squid Game vibe. So what I'm gonna do is share it around on my social media platforms and maybe some subreddits so I can get as many people as possible. And then we'll see if anyone makes it through the three questions. I'm really excited to see if anyone actually makes it through. I think maybe a couple of people will, but uh, let's go ahead and see the results. So we have indeed got our first players here. <laughs> and one that is currently dead as we speak he has lost the game as i just noticed he joined rest in peace david you are the first to go maybe our second player christoph will be able to solve the problem we'll have to find out as our first players come through the door if we take a closer look at david's submission in our database we can see that he tried to cheat our system it looks like he has gone and copy pasted the answer from google to this question but the thing is he forgot to change the name of the variable that we were using so he ended up with an error saying str is not defined because you tried to copy paste so that's what you get david you can't cheat my system i've just come back from a little dinner and it looks like we've had quite a large number of people sign up and play the game so let's go ahead and check how everyone is performing <laughs> Okay, so it looks like not a single person was able to complete the first question. Um, as you can see, we've got the status of each player here, their player name, and the score, you get one point for each question that you get correct. As you can see, not a single person in the entire game, we had around 50 people, uh, actually made it past the first question. This question is called Minimum Cost of Climbing Stairs. It asks you to find the minimum possible cost to reach the end of the staircase, where every step has a cost associated to it. The catch is that you can either do a big step and go up two stairs, or a little step and go up one stair, and this is the case for each move that you make. The way that I like to visualize this is using a binary tree, where each node has a choice of two options, moving up one stair or moving up two stairs. To figure out the cheapest possible path, we can explore every path that there is and then just choose the one that had the lowest cost. To put that into code, we can use recursion to simplify it. What we'll do is recursively explore the two options of one step or two steps until we reach a point where we can exit the staircase, which we can see in these red colored nodes. Now, as you can see, once we hit the bottom, we will keep getting the minimum and the minimum and the minimum going up and up a layer until we hit the very top where we'll call get the minimum of both of the two options from the first step and that will be our final answer. The cool thing about this project is that there's a new game starting every minute, so even if you lost in the game that I shared around, you can actually just play in the next available game since there's one being created every single minute. And it looks like a lot of people that lost in the game that I shared around wanted the shot at redemption and have gone ahead and played multiple rounds, which is really good to see. And I've pulled all the data from my database and put it into a nice looking dashboard so I can share with you the overall results of the project that we can go through together. So overall, we had 45 total submissions and seven of those submissions were correct answers. Now, of course, I had a 100% success ratio because I am arguably the best programmer on the planet. However, we did have three other competitors in the Squid Games who were able to successfully submit some code that passed the question. So as you can see, we've got Alex Flipnote 
with the number one spot behind myself with two out of five correct answers, which is very, very impressive. We have Oliver who was able to pass the first round successfully with one out of three correct answers. And we had Christy who <laughs> died a couple of times, but he got the one out of five with a 20% success ratio, which is also very impressive. Unfortunately for the rest of the contestants in our squid game, does not look like they were very successful <laughs> with the 0% success rate across the board, but thank you very much for participating. It was a lot of fun having everyone come into the games and see how everyone performed, so. Now, if you wanna see how any of this works, I do have the full code base up on GitHub. Please don't roast all of my terrible code, but you can feel free to contribute to the project if you want. I will be checking out all of the pull requests, but other than that, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button as it really does help out my channel. And if you wanna see more content like this, consider subscribing as well.